Keep taking some nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. Settle in, get your fidgeting in. When we meditate, we get in alignment with God or the Holy Spirit. Some of you call it the universe or your higher self or higher power. I like to refer to it as original source energy and God and the Holy Spirit. Those are my three favorite terms. But please feel free if I ever use these terms and names in any of the meditations that you join me in on, know that this is your experience. So I want you to use your name for your higher power. When we're in alignment with our higher power, the original source energy, Life and relationships and opportunities, careers, businesses, business in general, and even money flows to us easier. Being in alignment with the Holy Spirit is a process of developing an intimate relationship with your higher power. And that serves us very well. So take this time to fully relax and disengage from the egoic world. Let us raise our own consciousness. And when we do, we raise the collective consciousness simultaneously. Your priority right now is you. And this is the time to turn inward and focus on yourself. And that's the invitation tonight. Allow your body to slowly settle down and find the perfect resting spot. We're gonna go ahead and begin with some breathing. And I'm gonna keep it very simple today. We're just gonna do a simple box breathing. I know that this is new for some of you who are joining us. So I wanna keep it as easy as possible. And box breathing is simply inhaling and exhaling to the same number of counts. I don't want you to force anything. If you ever find that you are out of sync with the process, simply stop and begin again on the next count. You're going to be breathing in and out of your nose. And a couple of tips that I want to share with you is if you are finding that you are needing or would like a deeper inhale, one tip is to pretend, imagine that you have gills on the sides of your rib cage. And when you're inhaling through your nose, you're going to imagine that the air is actually coming in from the sides of your rib cage through those gills. And try that now. Nice deep breath in through your nose, but see that air coming into through your rib cage and out through your rib cage. Another good way to take a nice deep breath in is to, whether your eyes are open or closed, look up in between your eyebrows while you are inhaling. Two of those exercises allow for just really nice breath expansion. Go ahead and empty out all the air from your lungs by bringing your belly button is if it's being pulled from behind you from the other side of your back. Empty everything out and go ahead and inhale two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, and exhale, two, three, 
four, five. Good, we're gonna do this five more times. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath in through your nose, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, and exhale through your nose, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, and exhale, two, three, four, five, three more times, inhale through your nose, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, exhale, two, three, four, five, nice deep inhale through your nose, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, exhale, two, three, four, five, Last one, take a nice deep breath in, breathe in that air as if you have sides, rib, the heels on the side of your rib cage. Four, five, and hold. Two, three, exhale. Two, three, four, five, keep going if you need to and return to just your natural breathing in and out of your nose. Go ahead and relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. Our special focus tonight is on the second agreement of the four agreements, and that is do not take anything personally, followed by yoga nidra meditation where I will guide you on a systematic journey of your body by bringing your awareness to specific body parts. Allow yourself to relax fully and go into a dreamlike state between sleep and wakefulness. Yoga Nidra is an ancient technique where we enter the deep states of conscious relaxation. It's a practice of moving our awareness from our external world to our inner world. Because our external world is a direct reflection of what's going on inside of our mind. I will mention parts of a body. Bring your focus to that part without moving it. Do your best to not move, just be. Our time together will end in silence after the yoga nidra, where you are more than welcome to drift. When you do come back to full wakefulness, be gentle with yourself. Move slowly. Start by wiggling your fingers and toes slightly. Enjoy this experience.
there is no right or wrong way to do it. I'm inviting you to trust this process and to let go. Just let go and allow yourself to relax. Allow your entire body and mind to become calm. May we be surrounded by the white light of protection both individually and collectively as a group. Anything that is from the most high may enter and remain. Anything that is not from the most high, I command you to leave immediately so you can heal and grow. Let us drop out of our heads and into our hearts. So what is the second agreement? It's do not take anything personally. Whatever happens around you, don't take it personally. People take things personally because they agree with whatever was said. And as soon as you agree, the poison goes through you and you are trapped in the dream of hell. What causes you to be trapped is what we call personal importance. Personal importance or taking things personally is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me or us. During the period of our education, growing up the way that we've been conditioned, we learn to take everything personally. We think that we are responsible for everything. But please hear me when I say this, and this is a very liberating statement that if it is not a belief of yours, I totally invite you to, be, to make it a belief of yours. And that statement is nothing, nothing that other people do or don't do, say or don't say has anything to do with you. Whatever somebody is doing or their lack of action, whatever somebody is saying or not saying through silence or like the silent treatment, it's because of themselves, their filters, their point of view, their conditioning. All people live in their own dream, in their own mind. They are in a completely different world from the one that we live in. When we take something personally, we make the assumption that they know what is in our world and we try to impose our world back onto their world. Even when a situation seems so personal, even if others insult you directly, it still has nothing to do with you. What they say, what they do, their opinions they give are according to the agreements that they have in their own minds. Their point of view comes from all the programming that they received during Miguel, the author of The Four Agreements, calls it domestication. I call it programming or conditioning. Everything that we learn, half of everything that we've learned in our lifetime is learned before the age of seven. 
And we as adults still operate from those beliefs that we've acquired, inherited, took on as our own between the ages of birth and seven years of age. Their point of view can also come from lack of sleep and illness or substance abuse. It can come from fear. If someone gives you an opinion about your clothing or your weight, for example, the invitation tonight and tonight's meditation is to not take it personally because the truth is that this person is dealing with his or her, her own feelings, beliefs, and opinions. They're looking at the world and you through their lens, their filters, and those lenses and those filters have nothing to do with you. That person tried to send poison to you. And if you take it personally, then you take that poison on and it becomes yours. Taking things personally makes you easy prey for these predators. When you take things personally, you feel offended and your reaction is to defend your beliefs and create conflict. We make things that are little into big things because we have this developed knack for needing to be right and making everybody else wrong. You also try hard to be right by giving them your own opinions. And that can be very, very exhausting. It's not worth it. Don't take anything personally because by taking things personally, you set yourself up to suffer for nothing. Humans are addicted to suffering at different levels and to different degrees. And we support each other in maintaining these addictions. Wherever you go, you will find people lying to you. And as your awareness grows, you will notice that you also lie to yourself. Do not expect people to tell you the truth because they also lie to themselves. You have to trust yourself and choose to believe or not to believe what someone says to you. When we really see other people as they are without taking it personally, we can never be hurt by what they say or do or don't say or don't do. Even if others lie to you, it is okay. Even if someone insults you, it is okay. They are lying to you because they are afraid. They are afraid you will discover that they are not perfect. It is painful to take that social mask off. If others say one thing but do another, you are lying to yourself if you don't listen to their actions. But if you are truthful with yourself, you will save yourself a lot of emotional pain. If someone is not treating you with love and respect, it is a gift if they walk away from you. It's a gift if you walk away from them. You can love them from afar, you can forgive them from afar, but you do not have to be intertwined in their lives and their realities. Walking away may hurt for a while, but your heart will eventually heal. Then you can choose what you really want. You will find that you don't need to trust others as much as you need to trust yourself to make the right choices. And when you make it a strong habit to not take things personally, not, a th not anything, you avoid many upsets in your life. I'm living proof of this. My clients are living proof of this. Your anger, your jealousy, any negative emotion will disappear. And even your sadness will simply disappear if you don't take things personally, if you don't engage in someone else's story about you, because that's all it is as a story. 
If you can make the second agreement a habit, do not take anything personally. You will find that nothing can put you back into hell. There is a huge amount of freedom that comes to you when you take nothing personally. The whole world can gossip about you. And if you don't take it personally, you are immune. When you don't take the emotional poison that someone is sending, it actually becomes even worse in the sender, but not in you. Karma starts to take place almost immediately. You can see how important this agreement is. Taking nothing personally helps you to break many habits and routines that trap you in the dream of hell and cause needless suffering. Just by practicing the second agreement, you begin to break dozens of teeny tiny agreements that cause you to suffer. And if you practice the first two agreements, the first one being impeccable with your word, and the second of course is do not take anything personally, you will break 75% of these agreements that keep you trapped in the hell that you are experiencing. And I know that people are experiencing hell. We can make heaven here on earth, you guys. And this is a process that helps us do that. So write the agreements on paper, especially this one. Put it on your refrigerator to remind you all the time. Write it on sticky notes and place it where you are always at, your desk your mirror in the bathroom, your car console, your wallet. Let us begin into our yoga nidra. Again, I wanna remind you that our time together will end in silence after the yoga nidra. You are more than welcome to just simply drift and be, you are safe. Gentle reminder that when you do come back to full wakefulness, be gentle with yourself. Remove, move slowly, wiggle your fingers and toes lightly before getting up fully. So once more, fidget. Get rid of some excess energy that you may have. Settle back down into stillness. And let's begin with our sankalpa, also known as an intention. And we're gonna focus it on this second agreement. Our two Sankalpas today, and I want you to repeat these out loud or to yourself three times with me. And then I will begin our guided meditation. The first sankalpa or intention, repeat this with me or after me for three times. I no longer take anything personally. I no longer take anything personally. I no longer take anything personally. And our second Sankalpa is, repeat this after me as well three times. I no longer, excuse me. I drop the need to be right. I drop the need to be right. I drop the need to be right. On to our first body part, and that is our toes. Relax and harmonize toes. Relax and harmonize. Feet. 
relax and harmonize feet. Relax and harmonize. Lower legs. Relax and harmonize lower legs. Relax and harmonize. Knees. Relax and harmonize knees. Relax and harmonize. Upper legs. Relax and harmonize upper legs. Relax and harmonize. Both legs. Relax and harmonize both legs. Relax and harmonize. Buttocks. Relax and harmonize buttocks. Relax and harmonize. So as muscles. Relax and harmonize so as muscles. Relax and harmonize. Fingers. Relax and harmonize fingers. Relax and harmonize. Hands. Relax and harmonize hands. Relax and harmonize. Forearms. Relax and harmonize forearms. Relax and harmonize. Upper arms. Relax and harmonize upper arms. Relax and harmonize. The entire back. Relax and harmonize. Entire back. Relax and harmonize. Shoulders. Relax and harmonize shoulders. Relax and harmonize. Neck. Relax and harmonize neck. Relax and harmonize. Jaw. Relax and harmonize jaw. Relax and harmonize. Tongue. Relax and harmonize tongue. Relax and harmonize.
eyes and eyebrows. Relax and harmonize eyes and eyebrows. Relax and harmonize. Back of the head. Relax and harmonize back of the head. Relax and harmonize. All muscles. Relax and harmonize all muscles. Relax and harmonize. All trigger points. Relax and harmonize all trigger points. Every cell and every atom Relax and harmonize every cell and every atom. Relax and harmonize. Blood. Relax and harmonize blood. Relax and harmonize. The whole body. Relax and harmonize the whole body. The whole body. Relax and harmonize. The whole body. Relax and harmonize. The whole body. Relax and harmonize. 